Okay, so today we are looking at chapter 17, the beginning of chapter 17, pre-lecture number 16. Um, we're going to be looking at what's called a common ion effect and a buffer. So let's go right into it. We've got our common ion effect. And it's basically the effect on equilibrium that a common ion has. Okay, so for instance, if we have the acid HF. HF is a weak acid, so its dissociation process is an equilibrium. Now, if we add NAF to this equilibrium process, this fluorine will add in on this side of the equation. So it'll add in on our product side. And according to Le Chatelier's principle, we say that we're going to shift away from from added substances. So we're going to shift, in this case, towards our, pro or our reactants. So that means that we will actually have a lower um, or a this will weaken our acid. That's because there's less dissociation. So in effect Ka will decrease. Okay, and we'll look at how to do calculations for this in class. So we'll look what's called a buffer solution. So a buffer is a solution that resists large changes in pH. upon the addition of small amounts of strong acid or ba strong base. So some examples of some buffers that you should already know. Blood. Blood is a buffering system. It does not change pH very readily. Um, we actually need to keep it in a very narrow range, 7.35 to 7.45, or we get acidosis or um, alkalosis. So we want to keep in that specific range within blood, um, or we get very, very sick. So it's a good thing that's a buffer. And another one is the ocean. The ocean is another example of a buffering solution. Um, again, we need to resist those changes in pH or all of our sea life will die. Okay, so examples of buffers. A buffer itself is made of a weak acid and its conjugate base or a weak base and its conjugate acid. And remember the, the conjugate base of a weak acid is a weak base. And the same thing for a weak base, its conjugate acid will also be a weak acid. So an example of this would be acetic acid. 
and sodium acetate. That'd be an example of a weak acid and its conjugate base. So if we were to put small amounts of acid in here, so let's take this buffering solution, let's actually add base first. So if we have CH3, COOH, we add a strong base, we produce NaCH3COO plus water. So very little change because all we've done is produce our weak acid or our weak base. And then if we add acid, the base component will react with it. and we'll produce, again, our components of our um, buffer so solution. So it resists changes in pH by converting strong acid or strong base into the conjugate, its own conjugate acid or conjugate base. Um, we can determine the pH of a buffer solution using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. This equation is pH is equal to pKa plus log base concentration over acid concentration. So um, you need to know the pKa of your acid and you need to know your relative concentrations of acid to base. You can either know actual concentrations or just relative concentrations, like we have 10 times excess of base, so that'd be 10 to 1, something like that. In order for us to use the Henderson-Hasselbalch, in order for a solution to be a buffer, So, for us to use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, we have to have a ratio of acid to base between 1 and 10 to 10 to 1. So that means that that base over acid ratio must equal somewhere between 0 0.1 to 10. So if, it is not, if it is not in this rate region for this, we cannot use the Henderson-Hasselbalch in order to determine the pH. <clears throat> okay, last thing in this lecture that we're going to be looking at is buffering capacity or buffer capacity. This is the amount of strong acid or strong base that can be added before um, our solution no longer acts as a buffer. So no longer, when it's no longer acting as buffer, it's no longer resisting changes in pH.
Okay. So the capacity itself uh, is based on the concentration of the components. So our weak acid conjugate base concentrations, or weak base conjugate acid, same thing. Um, so greater concentration of components, that will result in a greater buffering capacity. Okay, that is everything. See you guys later.